Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the latest movie review from us here at Flick Direct. And for today's movie review, I'm here to talk to you all about John Wick Chapter 4. And the events of Chapter 4 once again follow John Wick, once again portrayed by Keanu Reeves, who, in the events of this film, seems to have found a way out of this thing that he has gotten himself into in case if you guys have not seen the previous three films i will not spoil them you'll know the first one came out like in 2014 but anyways game out because of the point john wick has seemingly found a way out of possibly out of this life for good until a new villain rises played by bill skarsgård who seeks to turn an old friend into a rival to put it in one sentence guys John Wick Chapter 4 is a badass symphony of epic proportions. I mean, I can't describe to you all the movie that I saw in just one simple sentence other than saying it is just a badass piece of action filmmaking. It wouldn't feel right talking about this movie if, if I didn't mention this one actor, but one particular actor that I must talk about is Lance Reddick, who unfortunately, as you all may know, passed away not too long ago. I can't believe that I saw this movie and just, just a mere few days afterwards he passes away and all I'm gonna say is this, Lance Reddick was a phenomenal actor and he played such a great part of these movies as the concierge to the Continental. I loved this part. He was a gifted actor. He seemed like a very cool person. To his friends and his family, my deepest condolences. The world lost the legend, but he will never be forgotten. Obviously, Keanu Reeves is fantastic in this movie, and I swear to God, with every performance in this movie, he just keeps better and better and better at making John Wick an even more interesting character. Also, Bill Skarsgård is so darn good in this movie, bringing this great performance of a character that you love to hate. Out of everybody in this movie, Donnie Yen was easily the standout. I mean, Donnie Yen kicks so much butt in this movie. This guy still rips and tears like never before. It was revealed this movie would be about 2 hours and 49 minutes, and I was wondering how this movie was going to continue that momentum without that run time. But man, John Wick Chapter 4 more, and I mean more than earns that run time because man, throughout that run time, I was on the edge of my seat, not only due to the phenomenal action sequences, but the incredible storytelling. This is easily, without a doubt, the best looking John Wick film yet. This is not only a stylish looking film, but the colors pop so much. In particular, the sequence that takes place in a mu- well, not a museum, but a hotel. And man, this was such an amazing looking scene that I couldn't get enough of. And you guys, it's a scene where Donnie and fights John Wick. But this scene was absolutely incredible. The action of this film is absolutely incredible. And it's just action they need to watch in order to believe. Because there are so many unbelievable stunts in this movie. In particular, an incredible sequence that takes place in Paris. That legitimately had everybody, including me constantly oddly reacting to what was happening on that screen. If I were to really think about a single issue, and I mean just really reaching, that maybe I thought the movie felt long, but did I care? Absolutely. I absolutely love John Wick Chapter 4. It's easily my favorite of the franchise, and I definitely think, this movie in simple words, is a badass piece of action filmmaking. If you love action films, go check it out. Do not miss it and see the packed audience because trust me, it'll be some of the most fun you've had in the theater in a long time. I hope you all enjoyed my review of John Wick Chapter 4. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest review goes live. If you guys want to see our previous two reviews, please click on the right there or right there. And of course, until my next review goes live, we'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, guys. Hit like, smash subscribe, and get notified for when our reviews, interviews, and news go live.